Movement, change, light, growth and decay are the lifeblood of nature, the energies that I try to tap through my work. When you go out there, you don't get away from it all, you get back to it all. You come home to what's important. You come home to yourself. I can use the camera to make a place or landscape. The camera to a greater extent projects rather than takes in or reproduces. The camera, or rather the eye, produces the impression of the place. I, as photographer, am not passively taking in. I'm active as a subject generating the object. When we describe a process, or make out an invoice or photograph a tree, we create models. Without them we would know nothing of reality and would be animals. To be an artist, you have to give up everything, including the desire to be a good artist. The highest purpose of an artist is to have no purpose at all. This puts one in accord with nature in her manner of operation. I went through about six or seven painting methods just to see what I didn't want to do. And then I got off the wall and went into the environment. Too often... The world I belong to absolves itself of guilt and responsibility for its actions by washing away the traces of its murky history. I think the paintings work best with, in the back of your mind, the endlessness of the universe and the fact that rats and cockroaches will survive. We might destroy everything we've created and all the beauty we become aware of but we won't destroy the planet.